everyone, it's me. <laughs> now, you may be wondering, what in the heck am I wearing? So if you haven't guessed it already, well, actually, you've seen the title of the video, so you do know already. <laughs> but this week, we will be trying workouts from the 80s. Now, this was a great era in fitness. A lot of aerobics, jazzercise, like what more could you ask for, really? So basically, this week, I have gathered a list of a bunch of popular 80s workouts. They are all follow-along videos, so I will also link them in the description box below, so you can also have an 80s-themed week. As usual, I will be tracking my calories for this video, and I'll also give you an intensity and fun score for each workout. Now, without further ado, Let's go back to the 80s. Okay, so the first 80s workout we are going to try is from the one and only Jane Fonda. So this video on YouTube is 34 minutes long. It's a classic Jane Fonda aerobics workout, but it has a darn good opening sequence. So I'm just gonna play it through and I'm just gonna pretend to be everyone in the opening sequence and like imitate them. I don't think the music that she uses is copyright free, so I'm just gonna dub my own 80s style music on top of it, but you are in for a dang treat, okay? I'm just gonna play this for you and try and reenact it myself. A few moments later. <laughs> oh my god, you guys, you will not believe what happened. Canada Post just called me and for my building, they don't come upstairs. They require us to go downstairs to get packages. So I had to go downstairs <laughs> dressed like this. I took the scrunchie off and put on some sweatpants and like ran downstairs. But anyways, I'm gonna try and recreate this opening sequence again because I was so rudely interrupted. So let's go. Okay, anyways, now let's get to the actual workout. And it was actually a really good workout. As you can see, I'm very, very sweaty. So to break down this workout, the runtime on my watch says 33 minutes. And in that time, we burned 145 calories. So I think that's pretty decent. So this workout had like a bit of everything. There was a mobility warm-up section. Then there was some cardio, then some upper body, then core, then legs and stuff. So we really reached every single part of the body. And while it was like funny doing an 80s workout, it was actually really effective. So for intensity level, I would give this one an eight. I think it was pretty solid. Most of it was low impact. There was some jumping like in the cardio section, but most of it was low impact. So very good and accessible for a lot of people. And then for fun factor, I'm gonna give it a 9.5. There's just something, something so fun and pure about doing a workout from the 80s. A lot of the exercises were like just more fun. They're not like typical like hit workout exercises you would see now. So it's a nice change in pace to do some of these, but that's it for today. I'm gonna go back to present time now and I'll see you when I go back to the 80s again. <laughs> okay, you guys, it is time for the next 80s workout. I'm sorry I have failed you today and I'm not dressed up 80s style. I am the worst, I know, I'm so sorry. But disregarding the lack of 80s style here right now, we are going to try a Richard Simmons workout. So this one is called Sweatin' to the Oldies, which in the 80s, the 60s were old. So this is a 60s themed workout that happened in the 80s. This video is 13 and a half minutes long. And I mean, I don't really know much about Richard Simmons workouts. I've never tried one personally personally myself, but I know he was like one of the big superstars of the time. So yeah, let's try it out. It's sweating time!
Okay, so as you can see from the clips that you just saw, you probably already know that I had a ton of fun doing that one. Is Richard Simmons the king of dance party workouts from the 80s? Could possibly be. <laughs> so yeah, that workout was roughly 13 minutes long. It actually says 13 minutes and 11 seconds on my Apple Watch. Total calories burned was 64, which is not too bad. So this was a 100% follow along workout. Again, it was very much dance party style. So we basically just started off doing like regular dance party, then he did dance party, but focusing on the arms, and then he did dance party, but focusing on the legs a little bit. So yeah, this one was definitely super fun. Everyone was so happy to be there. There were a lot of like hip thrusts. And when I say hip thrusts, I'm not talking about like hip thrust for your glutes at the gym with like weights on top. I'm talking about like pumping. <laughs> so yeah, very fun. Was it intense? No. <laughs> so I mean, I didn't really break a sweat and I was trying to go as full out as I possibly could. I'm gonna say intensity for this one was six. It definitely wasn't the most intense workout, but just from doing this workout, I get the feeling that Richard Simmons was there for like everyone. The message kind of seemed like, you know, get up off your couch, watch this video with us. It doesn't matter what level you are, it doesn't matter if you've never worked out before, you can do this workout and I absolutely love that. Great message, great vibes all around. For a fun factor on this one, I'm gonna say an eight. I feel like this would actually be a really fun one to do as a warm up. There was a lot of mobility in there as well as the dance cardio, so you get your heart pumping, you get your body warm, you also get into those joints a little bit. See you in the next one. All right, you guys, so for our next 80s workout, we will be trying one from another 80s workout queen, and that is Judy Shepherd Miss It. So this one I will be trying today is called Jazzercise Fit and Physical. This video is literally ripped from a VHS tape from 1986, and this video is roughly 18 minutes long. I got my scrunchie on, <laughs> got my leg warmers on, and I'm ready to go. Also, why the heck were leg warmers a thing? Like, I haven't even started working out yet, and my legs are like sweating already. They're so hot. Did people in the 80s wear leg warmers all year round or just in the winter? If you know the answer, let me know. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, let's take a little breath and get ready to use that cardiovascular system. Yeah, these leg warmers had to go. I got so hot, as you can see, I'm so sweaty right now. So that one was super fun. I love jazzercise. Why is jazzercise not a thing anymore? Like it's literally the best way to get cardio in. It's so much fun. It's like the best kind of dance party workout you could ever ask for. <laughs> okay, so total runtime on that one is 15 minutes and 45 seconds and total calories was 93. Oh my god, literally just felt like a drop of sweat rolling down my face. So this one was basically just filled with like box steps, chasses, a lot of kicks, just like the funnest dance moves you could ever, ever ask for. So much freaking fun. That's all I have to say. I wish I could time travel back into the 80s and join one of these classes like live and do it in there and be one of the people in the video because it actually looks like so much fun. So to get on with the rankings for intensity on this one, I'm gonna give it a nine. It was very deceiving. I like looked through the video before I started it and I was like, oh, you know, it's just like kind of basic moves. It's not gonna be that hard. It's gonna be a walk in the park. And it was actually more tiring than I thought it was. For fun factor, I'm going to also give it a nine. It was so fun. Judy is a freaking ball of energy. She's just like a bright light shining on the stage, dancing her life away. Away, jazzercising her life away, correction. I'm just having the time of my life. See you in the next workout. Okay, the 80s workout we're doing today is called 20 minute workout. I think that's pretty straightforward. This one is called episode 40, Anne, Bess, and Lori. <laughs> so let's try it out. Take your head front and back.
that one to give you the stats. The total run time is 20 minutes and 15 seconds and total calories is 91. So to break this one down, it was actually quite well rounded. So we started off with some mobility and stretching. Then we moved on to a core section. We just did like a million crunches basically. There was a cardio section and then at the end another cool down and a stretch. So quite well rounded and I very much appreciate that. I noticed there were also like messages just like scattered out throughout the workout on screen and text. They would just give you like facts about aerobic exercise. So for my rankings for intensity on this one I'm going to give it an 8. I think it was actually another decent level of intensity for this workout. The cardio section was pretty good. Got my heart rate up and the cardio did take up I think most of the workout and then for fun factor I'm also going to give it an 8 I really like how well-rounded it was it was more like serious than the other ones for example the Richard Simmons and the Judy Shepard missed it workouts were very much just like having fun it was a party this one was like more serious <laughs> yeah I really liked it I feel like if we're in the 80s now when I saw this pop up on TV I would totally do it on TV with them <laughs> that's it for this one all right you guys that is going to be it for this video. I'm gonna wrap this one up here. I do want to start another workout program tomorrow, so stay tuned for that one. So I'll put all my rankings on screen now for this week's 80s workouts. I personally had so much fun doing all of them, <laughs> and they were pretty effective in their own ways as well. I think it would be well worth it to try any of these. And yeah, I think that's it for this one. If you like this video, give me a like, a comment, and if you like me, subscribe, do that bell thing, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!